Finally, we have some major news about the Battlefront sequel, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Not to be confused with the other Battlefront sequel, also called Star Wars Battlefront 2. You can already see how this is going to get confusing really, really fast. Anyway, this new Battlefront 2 is confirmed for releasing in the fall of 2017. And we also know what time period Battlefront 2 is going to be based on, and I think a lot of you guys are going to be disappointed. My name is Connor, and welcome to Star Wars Central. So Battlefront 2 is releasing in the fall of 2017. This was revealed by EA's Chief Financial Officer Blake Jorgensen during an investors conference call held yesterday. During this call he confirmed that the Battlefront sequel is coming and I quote, a year from now. So it's releasing in the fall of 2017. Remember Star Wars Battlefront released last year on November 17th 2015. So if Battlefront 2 releases at roughly the same time, then it means there will have been about two years between the development of the games. Now, I'd like to hope that Battlefront 2 has been in development since before Battlefront 1 released, meaning hopefully two and a half to three years of development time. Otherwise, I'm not sure two years is long enough to bring forward a game that will meet the community's and the fanbase's expectations. We also know that the Battlefront sequel will focus on content from the new movies. Which is also not really what people wanted to hear. For the most part, the community has wanted and will continue to always want Clone Wars content. And if I'm going to be honest, the newer movies aren't that much different from the current Battlefront we already have. Sure, there are some new weapons, slightly different vehicles, and the only other major point I can say is new heroes. See, this is just one of the reasons I feel they should have focused Battlefront 2 on the Clone Wars. We already know the heroes and villains and prefer them to the heroes from the new movies. Not to mention the weapons, vehicles, even the different types of droids allow for a much, much different style of play. Whereas Battlefront 2 on the newer movies basically means we'll be getting somewhat of the same experience. I'm not sure how they're going to do it, but this is definitely where I think Battlefront 2 needs to be really, really careful. Not only are the fans expecting Clone Wars content, but they need to make sure the experience is different and fresh enough that it's not just a reskin of the previous game. Now, just to clarify here, I am excited about Battlefront 2. I think they will definitely do a good job with it, and we will get some epic content based on the new movies but that still doesn't stop me from worrying. Anyway, moving on, we have some even better news. It turns out we'll be getting one new Star Wars game every year for the next three to four years. Again, Blake Jorgensen said, we'll most likely have one Star Wars title a year for the next three to four years. So a game a year sounds pretty awesome. We already know that there is a Star Wars action adventure game in development by Visceral right now. And there is also a third-person action-adventure game being developed by Respawn Entertainment as well. So if Star Wars Battlefront 2 releases at the end of 2017, then 2018 must have another Star Wars game and 2019 and so on. Obviously, if any games get delayed, then it might not be a game per year, but at least we won't have to wait that long between the release of each game. Tell me in the comments below, if we were to get a new Star Wars game every year, what game would you like to see after Battlefront 2? Personally, I would love to see the Visceral Action Adventure game, but I would be more than happy for them to delay it to make sure there is enough content and it's as good as it can be before release. Anyway, that's it for today's quick update. I would have made a longer video, but there really wasn't that much news. Hopefully we get more details about Battlefront 2 in the future, and no doubt we'll be getting a release trailer for the Rogue One Scarif DLC pretty soon. Also, before I end the video, I just want to thank you guys so much for your support recently. The amount of comments on the last video was just insane, and you guys had some pretty epic video ideas. Which, of course, I will be doing over the next couple of weeks. Anyway, thank you guys so much, I'll see you next time, and may the Force be with you.